My name is Simon Pedley. I'm the Detection Sales Director for Hexagon Detection, covering both the IDS solutions and also the Leica Geo systems on the detection side. Today we're going to look at some of the new features that are available on the DSX to make it more open and usable for the market. The DSX is a very simple solution and allows us to bring GPR to the masses. It utilizes the algorithms and graphical interfaces to allow us to find utilities under the ground. Utility strikes are still a huge issue within the United States and Canada. So when we think about these utility strikes, what's causing them? It's contractors hitting the utility lines, even when they have phone, the dial before your digs, and the 811 system. Electromagnetic locators allow us to find the utility lines under the ground, anything metallic. But that gives us an issue with anything that's plastic down there. So like the water lines, the gas lines, we need something else to allow us to find where these are. And that's where the DSX solution comes in to allow us to find these non-metallics very quickly and very simply and get this information not only from within the system but also into the excavators so we get the avoidance zones so the utility strike doesn't happen in the first place. So the DSX is a simple solution for any operator or contractor to use. That's where it was built as its foundation. It works in a simplistic process of collection, processing, and then exporting the data. So step one is always to collect the data and we give it a defined work area. So when paired with GPS, we just go up and down in a grid process and capture the data. And all we do is focus on capturing the information and walking in a straight line. Once we have this data, we can then process it. Once it's processed, we then get an image of what's under the underground, like can be seen on the side of the vehicle. It's basically like we peel away the top layer and look at where the utility lines are under the ground. We get this heat map to show us where those utilities are. We can help this step further by utilizing algorithms and guiding the system to go and look in a specific area. If we can find something within that area, the algorithm draws the utility line in, in its correct location, and gives us an estimation on how deep these utilities are and this is the piece of the information that can be exported to anything we want. PDF file, DXF, PWG, or even straight to machine control guidance systems. One of the new features that we brought into this system is now that we can look at the B-scan or the radar gram. So this can help build our knowledge and experience, and it can also allow people to understand how the system is doing the interpretations and what it's looking at in its algorithms to allow us to identify these lines. So utility locators aren't just bespokely for utility locating contractors. They are there to be used by anybody for quick verification of where utilities are. 